What's going on guys? It's Carl here back with another episode and featuring maybe one of the best products Microsoft has made in a long time. It is the brand new Microsoft Go. This thing retails for $400. So this guy actually just came out yesterday. I've had the opportunity to use it for the last little while and it's so refreshing to see a company like Microsoft that's coming out with a product for 400 bucks. I'm going to label that as a budget model that isn't crap. That's actually decent and it's actually really good. But before we of course start today's episode, we do have a update for the winner of the Huawei P20 Pro that is being flashed across the screen right now. Congrats, you just won this very smartphone. I will be shipping this out. Just make sure you shoot me an email. And if you wanna see the Microsoft Surface Go as a potential giveaway update, just let me know down below in the comments and I will hopefully work with Microsoft to get one of these out to you guys. So this guy, 400 Benjamin buttons, and for that price, you're getting a Pentium Gold processor, you're getting 64 gigs of space and four gigs of RAM. I would honestly stay away from the baseline unless you truly, truly need to go budget. Spend the extra 150 bucks, upgrade to the mid-tier, which is what I have here. This guy doubles the storage, 128, and of course doubles the RAM. And I think that makes it a lot more competitive and still not too, too bad for 550 bucks. Once you've picked your model, you get a 10 inch display, and this is usually smaller than something that I'm used to. I usually start off with either a 12, 13, say my 15 inch MacBook Pro. It's a three by two aspect ratio, and I won't lie, it isn't the prettiest tablet slash hybrid out there. It's got quite the big bezel, which you'll see around, but that doesn't really detract from anything. Still great for media consumption, whether you're watching YouTube vids, Netflix, anything on this tablet. The screen is great. For 400 bucks, I know it's not quad HD, it doesn't have the highest resolution, but when you look at other devices in this price range, those screens are usually beep. It's got two front facing speakers, which enhances the audio experience, and it actually has a very half decent front facing cam, which is something that say my $2,000 MacBook Pro fails to have. Maybe I can finally Skype now half decently. When you combine it with accessories like say the Surface Pen, the experience once again is also great. You can use it for say jotting down notes and it's a fairly lag free experience. It is something great for the form factor, but when you do say pair it with the keyboard, I think it's an absolute must, but the only thing which I think is the biggest shame this guy is a hundred extra dollars. So if you're paying 400 bucks for the baseline, this is 20% of the cost. I wish this guy came in at 50, maybe 75 tops. I think it's a bit of overkill, but I still think it's necessary. It makes the experience so much better. Since now we have a fully operating OS, unlike say iOS, which is mobile based, I can make this a productivity beast. I've actually been using this as my primary work device now for the past couple weeks, and it has crunched through emails, it has taken notes, it has done everything that I usually do, say on a $2,000 machine, perfectly. And it fits into, I wanna get this on cam here, this is gonna fit into my pocket. A laptop, in my sweater pocket. When you do have the Surface Keyboard attached, it's very reminiscent of the size of a book. It isn't too big, it isn't too chunky, and of course, once you open that up, this keyboard is one of the best. Just doesn't feel as good on this guy, and of course, this thing is more expensive too. And if I were to choose between this guy or say the iPad Pro, I probably lean over to this guy right here. So who is this guy really tailored for? I honestly think this thing will sell like hotcakes for back to school. It comes in such an awesome price point or say for a very first device, kids kindergarten to grade eight, their primary device. I still think you can get by totally fine in university. All I honestly did was write essays, maybe browse the net, the occasional game of StarCraft 2, and unless you really need the dedicated power of say a Surface Pro, a Surface Laptop, I would definitely give this guy a try. It is great for portability, or maybe as your secondary device if you're a professional. 
Anyways, that has been my review of the Microsoft Surface Go. As I said, if you can spend the extra 150 bucks, upgrade to the mid tier. I totally get it though, if you're being super on budget. You do have to bite the bullet and spend the extra $100 for the keyboard, but I do think it is worth it. It makes the device an all-in-one. Curious to hear your thoughts down below in the comments, and remember, I can try. I can wiggle to give one of these away. Just let me know what your favorite feature is down below, and I will catch the rest of you in one of my next episodes or vlogs. Peace.